Hi everyone, welcome to this audio slide presentation about our recent paper. I am Anna Drummond from the Cellular and Systems Neurobiology Group from Institute Gulbenkian of Science. And for the next few minutes, I will be discussing recent findings concerning the dynamic nature of memory and how one can take advantage of it to overcome particular neuropsychiatry disorders. We will mainly explore the role of the endocannabinoid system in controlling memory dynamics, in particular discussing the current knowledge in fear conditioning memory formation and maintenance. During the elaboration of this review, we tried to combine cellular, behavioral and translational approaches to understand the rules governing memory dynamics. Learning is a fundamental process that allows individuals to adapt to the features of the environment. Experience changes our behavior by altering the pattern of response of neural networks. Both molecular and cellular mechanisms involved in the different stages of memory, acquisition, consolidation, reconsolidation and extinction, are implemented in the brain by modifications in synaptic efficacy and dynamic interactions between different networks. Memory formation is in a highly dynamic process which is essential for adaptation to an unpredictable environment. Initially, after learning, memories are labile and sensitive to disruption by the interference of concurrent events. These are called short-term memories, which by a process of consolidation are stabilized into long-lasting traces. These long-term memories, if not reactivated, are protected to disruption. However, memory reactivation turns previously consolidated memories into an unstable state, again susceptible to perturbation. Additionally, and depending on the characteristics of the stimuli, a parallel process may be initiated which leads to the extinction of the previously acquired response. This process, called extinction, is new learning in which a new association inhibits the expression of the previous one. How is memory dynamic regulated? What determines if a particular memory is maintained or lost? We propose that in some behaviors and brain areas, the endocannabinoid system functions as a gate model adjusting the responses of the neural networks depending on the strength of synaptic stimulation. In the amygdala, the endocannabinoid system has a fundamental role to restrict memory formation upon high-intensity stimuli. Taking as a model the acquisition of a fear conditioning memory, the endocannabinoid signaling reduces neural responses to stimuli that overcome a certain threshold. This reduces the probability of generalized fear responses which may lead to anxiety. Prolonged activation, as in extinction, activates the endocannabinoid system favoring the suppression of the behavior. The role of the endocannabinoids in memory consolidation and reconsolidation is still an open question. Then, in an unpredictable environment, which will be the function of the endocannabinoid system? As it happens in memory dynamics, the role of the endocannabinoids as a gate model has been discussed for anxiety. During normal activity, there is a balance between the inhibitory and excitatory activity in the basolateral amygdala, or BLA, that results in a baseline response that is tightly controlled by inhibitory input. And what happens in a stressful situation or when there is a high valence stressor? In this case, the endocannabinoids activate CB1 receptors, leading to a reduction in synaptic transmission at inhibitory and excitatory synapses. This is associated with an anxiolytic response, which allows adaptation to the environment. And if this modulatory system is dysfunctional? In this case, the disruption or inactivation of the CB1 receptors results in an imbalanced excitation due to the increase of glutamatergic transmission. This can be associated with an increase in anxiogenic responses and their exacerbation leads to pathological conditions. As we have been discussing, there has been an improvement in the study of memory formation and the function of the endocannabinoid system. This understanding may offer the identification of potential new therapeutic targets to modulate memory acquisition and maintenance. These dynamics open the possibility to alter the expression of maladaptive memories such as generalized emotional responses observed in PTSD and anxiety patients. We present a substantial evidence that in the endocannabinoid system can be an important target for pharmacological treatment of anxiety disorders. Thank you for your attention.